Hey friends, welcome back to Runaway Trains. Today, we installed this new Cato signal. You may have seen this, it comes with a, a short piece of track, like I don't think it's like maybe four or five inches there, and with the actual working signal, so that when a train goes through, it'll change from green to red, and then when the train passes all the way through, it'll switch uh, from red to yellow and back to green again and await the next train. So we're going to give you a sample of that. Why don't you go ahead and run us a train, Drake, and then we'll tell you about what you need to install this. It's very important that the trains have metal wheels because it has an activator on the switch that detects the metal wheels. And then you'll see one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in about 10 seconds time, it'll switch back to green. You'll see there's a sensor down there, right about there. The metal wheel will go past through that. It'll activate the light or the timer, and then it'll switch, like you saw, to red. And then after the train passes through about a certain point, the timer will reset it from red to yellow and then back to green again. So we've got the train coming through here. It's gonna make its way all the way back around and you'll see what we're talking about here. One more time and then I'm gonna tell you what you need to get this for your layout. Oh, you Kato users. Pato, 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 potato, potato. <laughs> Now, isn't that cool? I love that. You know, it gives us like a little bit more professionality on our homemade layout here. We're definitely not professionals, but we do like, you know, all the whistles and bells. I'm going to bring you now over here. Drake, why don't you get a shot of the power pack down there and show everybody what components they're going to need to operate this signal. We can start here with this sort of three terminal power box that will go to the signal. You can actually operate three different signals here with that. And then that white wire is going to come out and that's going to go into over here where you connect to your Kato power. There's a special module you'll need. It's not one of these like switches that you use. It's just like a plain blue box that that will plug in. And I'll show you when you buy the switch, which is actually called the 2-601. You can see it's a, a Kato, uh, and there's like your, your model number or whatever. On the back, it'll actually tell you what you need to operate it. That's that three terminal box I showed you. This is the one that's attached right here to the Kato power pack. And then you have a couple options. They have this button that you can buy, which you can operate the signal manually Pardon the paint on my hand, I'm in the middle of painting the layout over there. Uh, you can get this separate. These are all separate actually too. And then of course there's like additional wire that you can get. So if you do get the signal, be sure you look on the back. To operate it right away, you're definitely gonna need these two pieces. We didn't know that when we purchased this in the store. The guy only gave us that. He didn't give us this piece and we needed that in order to operate the, the signal. So. Be sure to get those two pieces. You can see it's uh, 24 844 and 24 829. The signal itself, with the, you know, all one piece with the track, is the 2 601. If you would like to set up the manual, the thing with that is they only give you about five feet of wire. We've got to get an extender wire because our signal is farther than four or five feet or whatever this is. So that's on hold until we can buy a uh, extension cord, um, which I think this might be it. That doesn't look like it because this, uh, the male and female pieces here, they look too big. This has got the really, really micro size terminal there that will plug into the other side of the light unit. So that's it, folks. We're going to run another train for you so you can enjoy seeing that. And while Drake's getting the engine ready, I'm just gonna hold the camera here and zoom in. And don't forget, it only works with metal wheels.
and there it is back to green so thank you guys for watching runaway trains we'll see, see you on the, the next run, run.